I started shooting with RED cameras because I wanted to seem more professional than I really was. And it worked. I started filming with people that I totally didn't deserve to be around. RED really makes great cameras. But there's one way that RED cameras have always been much worse than the competition, and that's having built-in neutral density filters. While a lot of RED's competitors have the neutral density filter built right into the camera, with RED, you have to put in one of these into one of these and put it in front of the lens. Not the end of the world, but it's also kind of a pain in the ass. But finally, RED came up with kind of a stopgap solution. The RED RF to PL adapter with electronic ND. It's literally an RF to PL mount, just like this one, which costs like 130 bucks or something, but it costs $3,500 and it's got this electronic ND filter. It gets lighter or darker just based on electrical current. You can dial it up or down in your camera settings. It's pretty slick. My main issue with this is that by putting it in between the lens mount and the lens, there are some lenses that will not work with this product. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Now we try to add the ND filter and it won't fit because the rear element goes back too far for this to slide in. Who do we blame for this? Red decided to fit something in here that they really should have fit in here. It should really be like right there. Sony's done it even on the very cheap cameras. And the Sony E mount has an even shorter flange distance than the RF mount that Canon created and Red has adopted. There's no reason why Red couldn't add this to flip up and down if they tried. I am asking Red just to try a little harder. Just try a little bit harder. This solution that's ass poundingly expensive and you still have to work harder, physically swap it out yourself. This is not the future, but it's not bad. I don't hate it. I was actually really excited about this product, so I decided to unbox it with someone who knows nothing about cameras, my mom. Do you want to help me with an unboxing video? Huh? Uh-oh. Oh, this is something you <laughs> don't care about. Me, uh... I do care about it. Oh. Red RFPL adapter with electronic ND filter. That's right. Guess how much all this costs? I'm afraid to ask. Come on. $80. $3,500. Doesn't that suck? That Why sucks. do you do this to yourself? I don't know. <laughs> what does it do? She had a great question. What the fuck does this thing do? You see, in cinematography, there's something called a neutral density filter. It's a piece of dark glass that's meant to keep the colors the same. It's just darker. Mine's got fingerprints on it. Supposed to clean it. When you're shooting video, unlike photography, you want each of your frames to have a little bit of blur. So if I play this clip back frame by frame, you can see that my hands are really blurry as they're moving. That blur makes the motion look smooth and sexy. So to do that, you want your shutter speed to be half the length of each frame. 1 48th of a second if you're a real cinematographer, or 1 60th of a second if you're a tech review hack like Marquez Brownlee. I don't mean to rip on you Marquez, I love you, but Nobody should buy that shirt, because that shirt will make you look like a fool. Say you're shooting outside in bright light, and you don't want to close your aperture up, because you want your background to still look blurred out and sexy, like mine does right now. And you don't want to speed up that sexy blurred shutter speed. The way you get around it is to put some tinted glass called the neutral density filter right in front of the lens. And if the light gets even brighter, you can swap it out and put an even darker piece of glass right in front of the lens. You can st I can still see through this, but it's not as easy as this one, right? Now, fumbling around with these pieces of glass isn't really ideal. It's kind of a pain in the ass. You gotta swap them in and out of a map box, you know? And it's like, oh, if we want a darker one, then we gotta take the whole thing out and put the thing in, you know. You got this loose piece of glass here, and you gotta put it back inside one of these. You could drop them, shatter them. I've done it. These cost like 250 bucks or something. You feel like an idiot. But more to the point, this kind of thing slows you down a little bit and makes it harder to get the shot that you want. Most of the camera companies that aren't red, Sony, 
Canon, and I think even Ari, they have all figured out a way to put the neutral density filter inside the camera right in front of the sensor so you could switch it on and off lighter darker whatever which is really convenient red has never had that but for some reason i love red so much i don't know why that i put up with these stupid things anyway so when i found out red was finally coming out with a solution i was over the moon eager to spend three and a half grand on something that comes standard in any other company's cinema camera and to test it out I wanted to take it somewhere with blinding sunlight. The tidal flats of Cape Cod. A special place where the tide goes out a mile or two and you can walk on the sea floor. A bizarre environment that kind of looks like a desert where boats just sit on the sand for a few hours until the tide comes back in. Just so you know, these aerial shots are not the red. It's a, it's a drone. It looks sick though, doesn't it? And in case you're wondering, yes, of course I put an ND filter on the drone. These shots are the red. I decided to throw the Cook 100 on here. So if you're wondering, why does his footage look so shaky? Good Lord, this footage is so shaky, you can hardly watch it. It's because I was shooting with a 100 millimeter lens. I was trying really hard to stand still but it's hard. On top of that, I was walking around in the wet sand, barefoot, sometimes wading through water, trying not to drop this expensive camera in the water just to make a video that no one will even watch. So yeah, the footage is a little shaky, and uh, hopefully you can cut me some slack. I bet you would have done at least as bad of a job as me. Regardless, the ND's sick, and you can see its influence on the colors is pretty minimal. It only adds a slight magenta tone, sometimes on the highlights, and I only notice it some of the time. In my original video about the red Komodo X, my 7-stop ND filter seemed to be making the shadows purple, but I blamed it on the camera at the time. Now I'm convinced these filters do a much better job. So just by pressing the buttons on the side, you can make it lighter, darker, whatever. Instantly, you don't have to swap filters out, it's just up, down, wow! Now the RED camera is almost as good as Sony. Can you believe it? Almost as good as Sony. But if you're wondering, why did he choose the 100mm lens to go shoot test footage at the beach? It's because this new product didn't work with my 32mm. And I had a suspicion that might be the case. So as soon as I unboxed the RED RF to peel adapter with electronic ND, it was my first priority to test this out. What's wrong? Doesn't fit. Why? This lens doesn't fit. Why? That's a back focus issue. This lens goes too far back to fit. That sucks. Damn it. <laughs> now what are you doing? No! Who's at fault here? Do we blame Cook? Cook invented these little pins here that make the camera talk to the lens and Red has integrated that. Red advertises that this thing works with Cook's IO technology and it does. Cook made a lens that will fit perfectly well on a PL mount. There's no reason Red couldn't figure this out if they tried. Just try a little bit harder. But if there's a silver lining to Red's dysfunction, it's that we can all get a laugh from seeing a douchey kid spend a lot of money on something and immediately be disappointed. I'm really disappointed. I'm sorry, honey. Like this thing is not gonna no. do what I need it to do, which sucks. So this $3,500 thing that you just bought? Yeah. I mean, my main disappointment with this product is that for building out a camera on a gimbal, it's much better to have the neutral density filter not in front of the lens, adding weight to the front. It's much better to have it inside where the weight is distributed way more evenly. This is a great lens for a gimbal and it doesn't work with this solution, which I think sucks. I wanted these two things to play together. You guys should be a team. If there's anything to learn from this consumerism bonanza, it's that you should really focus on having good friends rather than focusing on buying new stuff. Do you think it's more important to buy a drone or have good friends like, like me? It's really up in the air right now. Yeah. All this new stuff costs a lot of money and it doesn't really make you happy. But having good relationships does. Friends first. 
Drone second. Years from now, I'll probably regret not taking that $3,500 I spent on the red RF to peel adapter with electronic ND and instead investing that money in a real estate investment trust or maybe using it to go on a cool trip. But I won't regret spending time with my mom. You think I spend my money well or rec recklessly? No, because I know you write it off, so otherwise you'd just be paying taxes, right? Well. If you thought this video was an obscene circus of consumerism and wasting money, just wait till my next one where I show you the gimbal rig that I've been building. I spent way more money than I ever anticipated building this gimbal rig, and in the next video, I'll show you how I used it to film myself picking up garbage off the streets of New York City. This plastic will get into a storm drain and wash straight into the ocean, where it'll end up in the belly of a pelican or a seal, or maybe it'll just turn into tiny particles of microplastic and it'll get inside you and it'll fuck up your life. We don't even know what microplastics do to us. They could give you cancer, they could mess with your fertility, they could make it harder for you to get it up. Don't let that happen. Pick up that garbage. Get it out of the storm drain. You're not above that. Oh, it's dirty. I don't want to touch it. Just pick it up and put it in the garbage.